So I know I said I was gonna do a part three cleaning my storage unit, AKA my second bedroom video, but I kind of just needed to get it done as quickly as possible. So I just did it on my own yesterday. Don't hate me. <laughs> but I thought I'd give a little overview of the room so you can see what I did. But basically we're gonna have company coming over in three days. It's Ian's younger siblings and they're gonna stay in this room. So I needed to pick it up quickly. So I'll show you guys the room. Oh my God, with my new bangs, sometimes I feel like I have a wig on and it's just like not sitting right. <laughs> and I kind of try and move it like it's a wig. I don't know, is that just me? Anyway, let's show the room. This is the desk and this is a bunch of stuff that I am selling which I already knew, this was already here, but I cleaned out the desk for the most part, except for the two drawers on top, which I still need to do. And then I set up the little TV for them to watch. They were already still signed in from the last time they stayed here. <laughs> I thought that was funny. But then we have, okay, my little coffee cup. That is so cute. Are you kidding me? Which means we're gonna have a good day. Then we have Ian's little collectible table. Oh my God, I think he's calling me from the shower right now. Oh no, he's just singing. <laughs> okay, Ian's little collectibles with some stuff underneath. And then over here we still have the huge cat wheel that the cats do not use. I'm probably gonna try and sell, which is just so sad. And then I just have this little fan here if they wanna plug it in while they're here. We have like two twin air mattresses that they're gonna use and will hopefully fit in this little area. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fun. Okay, this bag I wanted to talk about real quick. I'm selling it on Facebook Market and yesterday, oh my God, I was waiting all day for this lady she said the day before that she would come at 2 p.m. And 2 p.m. rolls around, I'm just kind of waiting on her. So then, right before 2, I message her and I'm like, hey, just wanted to see if you were still planning on coming at 2 or if you're coming at a later time today because she said she lived an hour away. So many people live an hour away and they're trying to buy my stuff on Facebook Market. I'm like, you really want to drive all the way here for my stuff? I mean, go for it, but... <laughs> It's just a lot. Like someone did that for some stickers. I was like, girly, are you okay? <laughs> Sorry, anyway. So yeah, she just ditched me and then she messaged me at eight o'clock. She read my message like right after I sent it around two and I was still kind of waiting up for her. And then she messaged me at eight o'clock saying, sorry, we had to work today. You couldn't have just said that before, like, huh? So then I took it off pending and then had a bunch of other people say they're interested. So I'm like, okay, I'm not selling it to this lady that I just waited up for. So this girl messaged me today because on all my items, I have that I will deliver it to the local area for an extra $5. So I had it listed for $25 and then she asked me if I could deliver it. My first delivery, I was kind of excited. <laughs> And I could tell because I live in a college town that she was a college student and she said that she needed it because she's actually moving out today and she just has a ton of clothes. And so then I was like, hmm, I'm going to tell her that I have some extra reusable shopping bags that I could give her too. And after I said that, I was like, wait, why did I say that? What if she changes her mind and all she wants is my shopping bags and she doesn't even want to buy the main thing anymore. But then it ended up working out because she was like, oh my God, that would be perfect. I'll give you an extra $10. So I turned a $25 sale into a $40 sale, which is not bad. Just by being nice and offering a little thing because I have so many of those bags that I do not even use. So I'm glad I could help her out a little bit and make the sale a little bigger for me. So it's a win-win for both of us. <laughs> anyway, let's keep showing the room the bag I'm selling and then you come over here and there is Brittany. And this is the stuff I put up when the, this was like my little office area. We have this bandana 
we have these Harry Potter like holographic cards. I don't know if they'll move in the video. <laughs> and then we just have this like graffiti picture I thrifted. This I got for Christmas, this little Blink-182 handmade ornament. I love this. And then this M&M picture I also love. Does it say when it's from? 2004. Yeah, I thrifted that too. And then you come over here. <laughs> and then I put these little tapestries up because my desk used to be over here and this is like the background from my work from home area. Before I had to come out of this room, I had to move myself out of this room because my cat Fred is like obsessed with me. <laughs> and he has like attachment anxiety, I swear. And so he'll just yell outside the door all day to be let in. And he wasn't allowed in here because there was a ton of things that he could bite on and try and eat. So I ended up just moving my desk out there so Fred could be with me and he wouldn't cry all day. Anyway, this is my little, I put all the craft stuff that I am gonna keep here so it's like easy to grab and use. And then all around the room, it's just a mixture of things I'm gonna keep, but then mostly things I'm gonna sell. I organize these drawers a little bit as you saw, and for the most part, it's pretty organized. Like I just have my second printer in here, some extra printer paper and some of those picture frames. And then I only have one drunk drawer, only one. <laughs> And that's that one. And then, oh my God, you guys, I said I was looking for the lens cap for my camera this whole time. And this was literally where it was. There was just something like covering it, like a piece of paper covering it. And if you saw my last video, you know that the entire floor in here was covered in shit. And I thought it was lost and all that, but no, it was just sitting on the printer the whole time, of course. We have our little cat stroller, which we are keeping, and then a bunch of pillows that I'm trying to sell. Okay, this, if anyone, let me know, if anyone knows about these type of pillows. It's like a needlepoint pillow. And when I looked it up, there were a lot that were like this and they sell for so much money, at least a hundred dollars. And I'm like, is it really worth that much? I'm so confused. I listed it for $80, but I don't know. I don't know, that might be a stretch. And then we come over here and that's where we started. So yeah, this is just a little overview of the room. Pretty satisfying to see it, the floor empty <laughs> and everything picked up because it has been rough in here. So now, the plan is I'm gonna drop off that bag to the girl and then we're gonna go out for a quick breakfast at a little like cafe spot, not really a breakfast spot. They just have bagels and stuff and coffee, but I thought it'd be fun to check out and I'll probably just use the money that the girl's giving me for the bag to pay for breakfast. <laughs> and then after that, I am going to reward myself with another used book fair. I'm so excited. And that's my little reward for cleaning up the room. <laughs> and if you saw one of my older vlogs, I think my birthday vlog, I just got a huge stack of charmed books. So that is what I'm looking for, either charmed books or the old school Goosebumps books, because those are the two I wanna collect. And there's a lot in both series. I think I'm not even like halfway through collecting either of the two series. So there are a ton of books I need. And the charmed books are kind of hard to find. I've noticed that like online, a lot of people on Reddit were asking where to find them and stuff. And yeah, I guess they're, they're a little tricky. So I definitely got lucky finding that huge stack of like 15 books. But anyway, those are the plans for today. Let's get into it.
hear those? Sticker alert, new sticker alert. Bumper sticker, added it last night. We've made it. And we're one of those people because it opens at 10. And we're waiting. So we have like an hour before the book fair starts. So we're gonna go to a couple stores, I think. We're at Volunteers of America. Hopefully find some good stuff. I think we're also gonna check out a couple card shops, maybe an antique mall, I don't know. I'm going a little crazy today, but we left the house super early and nothing is open because it's Sunday. But we're or <laughs> we are early morning people. So oh, I see the doors opening, so let's go. This used to be a Toys R Us, by the way. And now it is a thrift store. It's so quiet in here. Since they just opened and there's no music. <laughs> Oh, it's probably gross. I don't know. Do it. <laughs> what the? No, look at the belly button. Can't be showing that on YouTube. What the? Is it a button or is it's just an Audi? to 
with a band. I just want to dance. I don't want to worry about no man. No man. No man. We are back home and I just wanted to do a quick haul of what I got today. So first, starting out with Volunteers of America, I only got a few things. And you might have already seen it. <laughs> but first I got this matching set of a robe. This is what it looks like. I love the color. Robe and a little slip dress. Definitely vintage. I just thought that was cute. Here is some close-up detailing. And then this dress, this is just for me, I think. Because it literally just has my three favorite colors. Orange, green, and purple. All together. Love it. And then there's these little, like, butterfly-looking designs on it. And then the last thing I got, I don't even know if we have this or not, but I'm trying to collect all the Mary Kate and Ashley movies on VHS, and it was only 60 cents, so I thought, why not? And that is... <laughs> it Takes Two. I don't know if I've ever seen this one. Okay, and then from the book fair, I found so many good books. I was so excited. I was originally looking for any Goosebumps books and Charmed books, and I found a lot. But first, let me show you these books. <laughs> so at first I wasn't really... Okay, first, let me back up. It was insane. I was not expecting it to be that crazy, but it was at this mall, and the mall is like kind of run down. Nobody really goes to it that often anymore. But when we got there, the sale started right at 11 and we only got there a few minutes before it started. And there was a huge line of people waiting to get in. This one guy parked next to me and he asked me what all the people were there for. And I was like, it's for the book fair. I'm like, but what are you here for? The mall is dead and you're here right when it opens. That is the real question. What are you here for, sir? Anyway. It was like a madhouse and it was the entire floor of the mall and I did not realize that at first. Like it's broken out into little sections and finally I looked at the map and I was like I need to find the kids books and they were like all the way across the mall on the other side. So I booked it over there and of course it was chaos over there because all the kids were running loose looking for their books and I'm like trying to get them out of my way fighting for the goosebumps. <laughs> Not really, but kind of. And then also they had like, basically it's a week long sale and the sale was starting today and we got there right at the opening time and they had all the tables set up with the books and then underneath the tables there were all these cardboard boxes filled with more books. And so everyone was like going crazy in the boxes. And finally, after a while, this lady who was like working the sale, she's like, no, no, don't go through the boxes. Don't go through the boxes. Trying to get people to stop, but it was just like chaos. All the boxes were already open. Everyone was going through them. Like there was no stopping people at that point. Anyway, so I'm going to start with the fun little nostalgic books that I got. I'll go through these pretty quickly. But I really want to build a book collection that's just filled with these nostalgic type books. That's so Raven. Lizzie for President. Of course, I already have a few Lizzie books. So I'm just adding to the collection. We got some Hannah Montana. And then Zoe 101. Which it says there's a little poster in here. <laughs> nice. Okay. So that's the little poster. <laughs> cool. Okay, my camera died, so I switched to my phone, but now I can't see myself, so I hope I'm in the frame. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so. I just bought a huge stack of Charmed books the other day, and they all had, like, the plastic film on them from being public library books and so that's been kind of hard to like try and take those stickers off without damaging the books. Anyway, so I found this 
Charmed book, Charmed again, and I'm not sure if I already have this copy, but it's in really good condition, so I figured I could just get rid of the other one. I feel like I am so lucky that I found this many Goosebumps books because I heard some other kids searching for them and I was like, no, I'm gonna find all of them. So I just got all the ones that I didn't have already, which they had a lot. I was so excited. So I got Say Cheese and Die again. You Can't Scare Me. Attack of the Jack-o'-lanterns. I really hope you can see these. Bad Hair Day, which I just found this version of a Goosebumps like trading card in one of my other books that I had from 1996. So I thought that was kind of cool. The Blob That Ate Everyone. I don't remember this one at all. And finally, Let's Get Invisible. So then, oh my gosh, this was like... I, <laughs> this was crazy. I feel like I definitely manifested this. So Ian was getting a little overwhelmed. It was crazy. All the people were going crazy. So I don't blame him, but he's like, I'm just going to go to another store while you finish up. And I'm like, okay. And so then I had already found all these books and I was like, there's just one more book. I want to see if they have, I've been looking for it for so long. And I thought this would be the place to find it. And that was this. Sideways Stories from Wayside School. I loved this book so much as a kid. And I, after I said that to myself that I just wanna find this one book, I literally found it a minute later. It was crazy. And so then when I brought it up, they had like, since it had this little thing, she was like, oh, this one's for free. We shouldn't have had that one out. It was damaged. I was like, what? So double score, I could not believe I found it within a minute and then I got it for free. So I just manifested that <laughs> for sure. So I, I almost forgot, I wanted to show what I got from a comic book card shop too. And I'm always on the hunt for charm stuff, of course. And I normally don't ask, but I decided to ask this time and see if they had anything charmed related and Oh my god, I'm so glad I asked because these are the coolest things I've ever found that are charmed. So, they're just these. Oh, I love them so much. <laughs> Big comics. I got four of them. Yeah, one through four. This one's big. And I'm just, oh my god. I am so excited about these. I love the covers so much and they're in such good condition. These are from 2012, I guess. And then this is the last one. Are they all with Paige? Yeah, they're all with Paige. I didn't realize that at first. <gasps> the house, iconic. Just <laughs> me peeking over a little flip through. But yeah, I just, I could not not mention these because these were such a good find and I'm just so happy that I asked and that they had them. So yeah. I think that'll do it for today's video. I really want to stay on track and upload at least once a week. So Stay tuned for next week's video. Ian's siblings are coming and we're going on a trip to Chicago. So I'm super excited. So stay tuned for that.